Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Shamir Nicole and today we're going to be doing a little bit of a different video. If you're watching this, you are probably referred from my blog, shamirnicole.com, but today I have something that has been very valuable to me and also my other pageant sisters and I decided that this would be something I wanted to share with you here on my blog as well. So today, if you didn't already see the title, we are gonna be teaching you how to clean your pageant crown. So I just recently got a fabulous new crown box and I am so excited because for the last, I would probably say four months, my crown has been out in my office. Um, I didn't have a display for it or a box for it because my crown is quite large and I was struggling a little bit. So I finally found a crown box that would fit my dimensions. But the issue that I had was, is that my crown was starting to tarnish. It was yellow. It was even turning black in some areas. And I thought that I can use like a silver cloth in order for me to clean it. And I had no luck. So I scoured all of the internet. I tried everything again i tried the silver cloths that didn't work i tried i seen somewhere they said to use windex that didn't work so <laughs> i finally found a solution okay so this is my crown as you can see she looks much better than before um last week i took pictures and when i took pictures i looked at the pictures afterwards and i was like oh my god my crown was so yellow it was bad so i said i have to find a solution so let me tell you guys what i'm going to be doing i'm actually going to show you exactly what you're going to need so one you're going to need of course you're going to need a towel i'm going to be using my trusty dusty beach towel <laughs> um you're going to need a toothbrush this is a soft bristle toothbrush. I typically buy these in bulk because I also use these to clean my bathroom and different crevices in the house. So I have tons of these on hand. So a soft bristle brush. You're also gonna need a few Q-tips for those more delicate areas on your crown. And you're also going to need a bowl. It can be glass, it can be plastic. But inside of this bowl, I have one fourth cup one fourth of a i should say one fourth but i should say um probably yeah one fourth vinegar and the rest is just water so vinegar and water again one fourth vinegar so you don't want to use too much of the vinegar like if you if you can smell it slightly that's enough but for the most part try to use some water in here so that's all you're going to need and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to tilt my camera so you guys can see exactly what i'm doing and hopefully um, I can find an area that is still yellow. I mean, I've really been working on this and I've gotten great results. So that's why I decided to turn the camera on and show you guys because I'm extremely happy with how it came out. But I'm gonna show you exactly what I did. So because it was so yellow, um, it requires me to really, really scrub. So my crown is also very large, so I have to really take my time. And then I'm also going to repeat this process on the back because as you can see, this is more of a flat surface. So doing the same exact thing, placing my crown this way for support, go in and then I'm able to scrub the back of my crown just like this. The back for me is a lot easier because there's not as many crevices. It's like a flat surface. But again, I'm going to be doing the back. The toothbrush helps you get in the middle, like on the sides of the crown. And also, there are some areas on my crown that are quite large. So that's where the toothpick will come in. Well, the Q-tip would come in. And that's for me to kind of go around like that. Like so. Like on the sides. This is more detailed. And depending on how dirty your crown is, like see in here, it's a little bit hard for me to get in. So the Q-tip just fits perfectly without having the vinegar and water splashing everywhere. It's like I said, very much detailed work at this point, but the Q-tips definitely help depending on your crown design. So highly recommend. But again, guys, this is how I cream my crown, vinegar, water, toothbrush, and again, clean water once you're done to remove the vinegar residue. You then want to let this crown air dry before placing it in a sealed container with no no air make sure you keep your crowns covered up to stop the tarnish that was my mistake so i have definitely learned 
but yeah okay guys so that's it for this video i hope that this video was informative again i've searched high and low trying to find an efficient way to clean my crown um, I have more than one crown that needs to be cleaned, so I'm probably going to clean this one, let it air dry, and then I can go and clean the rest of them, the ones that I had in storage. But this is my current crown, and I need to wear her. So she's clean. She smells great. She looks great. Everything is nice and shiny. And yeah, there you have it. <laughs> Pageant queens, you so that's it, guys, for this video. I hope that this was informative for you guys, and I hope that this helps you keep your crowns clean let me know in the comment section if this technique worked for you and also don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel because i mean we're queens honey that's what we do <laughs> so i will see you guys in the next one